Thank you. Whoa! Benny! Benny! Oh, oh dear. I'm not sure about this, you know, Paul. Don't be silly. Can you think of a quicker way of getting to the hospital? Get rid of this now. Uh, right. Who is it we've got to see about this hospital porter's job? I don't know. Ah, yes. We've got to be at the hospital administrator's office by 10.30. What time is it now? Just after 10.30. Right. You can get rid of this wheelchair. Oh, on second thoughts, one of us could ride there, couldn't we? I wonder which one. Come on, then. We're wasting time. Thank you very much. We're looking for the hospital administrator's office. We've come about the job as hospital porters. And between you and me, I think we might just get them. I know you're keen, Barry, but I think we're going a bit fast. You see, we saw the advert in the newspaper. So we wrote a letter off. We got a form back. We filled it in, sent it back. So we've got an appointment to see you. Haven't we, Paul? Paul? Say, Barry, I think you can slow down a bit. We don't want to have any accidents, do I? I think we can stop here now, Barry. Barry! 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 This is our floor. This is it. Administrator's office. Won't be ready for it yet, though. We'll wait over here. Take a chair while we're waiting. You know all the tricks of the trade, you, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Sit down. Remember, when we're going to see the administrator, leave all the talking to me. Right. And whatever you do, remember, no Well, we can see you're busy. We'll come back later. Just one moment. Now, what was it you wanted? Hang on, hang on. Don't I know your faces from somewhere? Well, you know, it, it must be to other people. We've got very familiar faces. Well, I don't want you getting familiar around here. And what do you want, anyway? We've come for the job as hospital porters. For porters. Well, do you have any qualifications for this line of work? We watch casualty every week, don't we? Mm. Do you have any referees? No, but I can name you every player for Rotherham United. References. References. I'm talking about references from your other employers. Silly you. Silly me. Oh, I've had enough of this. Normally, I'd throw you straight out of this office. However, we're a bit short-handed at the moment. 
So I'm going to give you a chance. Uh, that is, if you can start immediately. Yes! Right. Now go and pick up your uniforms from the hospital laundry. And I'll meet you outside the office to give you further instructions. Oh, and uh, later on, I still want you to go to the theatre. And remember, when you work for me... No slacking! How did you know that? Lucky guess. I'm sure I know those two from somewhere. Now remember, Barry, this is a hospital. And hygiene is of the utmost importance. <laughs> Paul, there's something I don't understand. I know, but don't let it worry you. I'll look after you. But, uh, but... No buts. Remember what the administrator said? No slacking. Now get yourself a mask on. Paul? Oh! Take that off. Not that kind of a mask. You're going to scare the patients. What do you think? I think it's a great improvement. Thank you very much. Now, where did I put my tea? Hey, Paul, about the theatre. Oh, yes. I forgot. Come on, let's get our uniforms on. Hey, Paul, I'm a bit confused. What's new? No, what I'm confused about is, what are we doing going to the theatre? I thought we'd come here to work, not to see a show. It's not a theatre, theatre. It's a theatre. Oh. Still don't get it, do you? No. It's an operating theatre, where they cut people open. Oh. Then they sew them back together again. Nothing to worry about. Oh. Hey, perhaps they want us to assist. Oh. Surgery runs in our family, you know. Great granddad was a pork butcher. Oh. <laughs> Not really, I was only kidding. He really was a surgeon. Really? Yes, he had his own private practice. Did he do well? No. He lost an arm and a leg. Oh. Uh, uh, Come on, wake up now. Uh, Come on. Oh. oh. Wonder where he is. Well, he can't be far away. Tell you what, I'll go and have a look for him. You wait over there. And don't touch anything. And don't touch anything. You've got something in your teeth. Oh, oh, I'm terribly sorry. I do apologise for Barry. He had a terrible childhood. In a dog's home. Take a seat. Right. You two. Go to the storeroom. 
He needs a thorough cleaning. And I'll be along to check that there's no slacking. Hey, Paul, do you get the impression that the administrator doesn't exactly like us? Nonsense. It's all a facade. He's just testing us, that's all. You wait and see. We'll be doing some really difficult operations by the end of the day. Lucky us. Hey, I always fancied myself as a surgeon. I always was a smooth operator. <laughs> Very good. Will you fix that watch? You'll scare the patients. Just look at the mess in here. And look at that. Somebody's even put tea on the floor. Hey, I don't know. Hey, Paul, look at this. An underwater diving cylinder. That's not an underwater diving cylinder. Is it? Can't you read what it says? No. Not no. N-O. Nitrous oxide. Laughing gas. Laughing gas? Mm. Does it work? Of course it works. Use it on the little and large show all the time. So that's how it's done. Mm. Ha ha! A veritable hive of activity. I thought I told you no slacking. Don't worry about it. You leave this to me. It's all Barry's fault. I don't care whose fault it is. Now get to work. Right. To you. To me. Yeah. To you. To me. Yeah. To you. To me. Never seen such a shambles in all my days. To you. <laughs> to me. <laughs> to you. To me. <laughs> to you. <laughs> hey, hey, to me. <laughs> And no excuses. You two are a total disgrace. See you! Me! Oh, I ought to fire you! Out of a cannon, eh? Hey! Get it out! Your mate needs a bit of fresh air. And then bones, then bones, then Nonsense. He'll be hiding somewhere. Administrator! Administrator! That's typical. No sense of pride in his work. It's all right, though. He's left a list of instructions. Oh, give that to me. First, give Chuckle Brothers sack. It must mean this one. Oh, I wonder what that's for. Second, take patient in corridor to X-ray. Come on. Here's the patient. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Is there anybody else here? Yes. Oh, you. No, obviously I'm here. Is there anybody else here? Yes. Oh, me. Oh, I wonder where the X-ray department is. Paul, what, what is X-ray? Oh, it's where they take photographs of people and then develop them. Oh, good. I like having my photograph taken. I do. Come on. No one here. Good. We must be early. Hey, Paul. 
These pictures haven't come out very well. They're all too dark. You're right. I don't think much of the photographer. I could do a better job myself. Mm. Excuse me. Yes? Oh, yes. Well, certainly. We'll do that straight away. Goodbye. What was it? The telephone. Oh. They said they won't be long and can we get the patient ready for x-rays. Does that mean we can take the picture as well? I don't see why not. I could certainly show that photographer a thing or two. Now, I wonder where the camera is. Tell you what, I'll have a look for the camera while you prepare the patients for x-rays. Right. What shall I do? Well, comb his hair, make him look respectable. Put a bit of powder on his face, something like that. OK. I'm really enjoying this, Paul. Mm. Just like the administrator. Don't be silly. Oh dear, it is the administrator. Quick, let's go, nice and quietly. Mm. 